G'day everyone and welcome back to another dam video. If you missed the first few videos I had the dam dug out and put some fish in it such as silver perch and some trout. Yep. Oh that one's better. How good is that? Nice bag of brown trout. Little rainbows. I'm going to put in now. The dam was starting to fill up, so I decided to add a fence in the inflow drain to hopefully stop any fish from escaping when the water rises. This was a good move with the rain we ended up getting, as you'll see later on in the video. Now the fence isn't the best, but it's just good enough to keep the fish out. Well, I hope anyway. Dam is actually flowing a fair bit. You got a lot of water running in there, got it there, it's a fair bit. Ooh. Got a fair bit flowing through here now. Got all that water coming in. This is the fence I built just to try and stop all the fish getting out. So yeah, all this is actually flowing fairly well. We got more rain coming in two days. We got some tomorrow a little bit and then a fair bit more coming in two days. So should be perfect. Now I'm just going to try a cast through here because surely there's some fish just sitting out there waiting for all the food to get washed on, especially trout. These fish are so hard to catch. There's so many minnows here, I'll see if I can show you them. Look at all of the minnows. There is so many. Good bait for the fish, but makes them hard to catch. Look at them, they're just literally everywhere. This is the automatic fish feeder. The water has risen heaps. So I'm gonna to have to take that off because it's gonna probably get up too high that it's gonna cover this.
We have had that much rain in the last 24 hours. Had about 100 mils, which is heaps of where we are. This drain is absolutely pumping. This hasn't happened like this for years. Like, look how deep it is on me. That's flowing like crazy over the rock barrier. We'll go and have a look over here. Yeah, it's absolutely pumping out there. So that's the second rock barrier. That's never normally full. This drain is flowing like crazy. And then... All this is like its own little river. Then we got the dam here. Normally walk through this spot. This is never normally under. I don't know if you guys can sort of, or remember the last video where there was a, um, I had the automatic fish feeder. It's somewhere in there. But I've, I've brought the fish feeder over here, but the actual bucket is like well and truly underwater. But yeah, here, this is never underwater. Just running out from little section in here, but this is literally as full as you ever get it. See how this rock barrier is going. There's got to be some fish in here somewhere. Yeah, she's absolutely pumping there. Luckily, I'll put that, that mesh barrier up. Have a look at it all out there. That's literally flooded. I'll see if I can get a bit of a higher picture in there. It'd be crazy deep. The water is flowing super well through there. And yeah, that's actually to be very deep in there. Like all through there is literally flooded. <laughs> That's the, the drain there. That's never like that ever. And then, yeah, running in through there and then into the dam. So I'm out to my knees already. Got this huge log here. I don't know where that came from, but somehow that's washed down. Whoa. That is deep. Holy, that's up to my, near on up to my waist. And the deeper section's more so in there. But yeah, up to my, roughly my waist. It's insane how deep this is. Got another little off shoot here. Luckily we got all these reeds and it's not really flowing. But yeah, I've never seen this dam like this before. It's insane. We got a few little swells there. Hopefully you guys can see them. Sort of few little swells here. I'll put out some food. There's some bigger fish there. There's some right over the far side as well. And then um, it looks like there was a few little ones here. So hopefully they were just trout sitting and, and waiting. But basically, as you'll be able to tell, all the fish would be sitting right here as this water runs in. It would just be flowing real nice into here. And then easiest target for food would just be fish sitting right here as all that food just washes down from here just flows the whole way in and 
yeah, the fish will just be able to get an easy meal. Fortunately, I found one dead trout. It's just floating. I don't know what happened to it, but hopefully I don't find any more. It's been dead for a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna throw this off the water. So yeah, there's nothing else. I just found it at the fence where the outflow is, so I don't know why. But um, yeah, that sucks. But anyway, throw this away. Very disappointing. There's a big silver perch inside. There's two dead fish. I don't know whether it's run off from whether it's run off from the oh man, that's a big fish as well. That's huge. Far out, that is annoying as. I don't know whether it's run off from the paddock with the super, I don't know. Or the fertilizer. But unfortunately. Man, that absolutely sucks. These take a long time to grow. That one's a big fish. That is very disappointing, unfortunately. You know, it's quite disheartening. This is probably four or five years old. And um, yeah, to get it to this size and then for it just to die very disappointing that's about uh, 45 odd centimeters yeah really sucks unfortunately so that's two dead fish that one and the other trout so yeah it um sort of quite disappointing we did have a heap of rain come through and um, had a heap of water coming in from the paddock so I'm not sure whether that's what's happened but um yeah very disappointing that's the only two i can see but hopefully there's another no ones i would have thought if there was any other dead fish i would have been able to see them floating up next to this drain so yeah i'm not too sure what's happened but it's the only thing i can think of is some runoff coming from the paddocks and um yeah that's sort of the only possibility I can think of. I can't see any other dead fish around. I'm just trying to look around sort of all these edges and um, trying to find anything, but at the moment, I can't seem to see any dead fish, which is a good sign. This one was just sitting out there and the trout was near the outflow drain where it got caught in with the, the fence. So, I'm hoping that's the only two fish that I can find dead. So I'm just gonna have a few casts today. Got a little Scout 45 here, which I'm gonna try and catch a few fish. Um, a couple of days ago, I saw those dead fish over here. So yeah, today's really just trying to um, see if there's any fish still in here, which are the only two fish I could find. Um, hopefully there's no other dead fish. So I do have some bread if I can't catch any fish, but um, 
yeah, I'll just try and cast around this lure for a while. And then if I have no luck, I'm just gonna use a bit of bread on a hook. So yeah, I really just wanna know if one, if there's any trout in here and if there's any large silver perch still in here. So um, yeah, I just found the one dead trout and the one dead silver perch. That silver perch, I measured it along here. Um, it was 47 centimeters. So yeah, really disappointing um, being such a large fish not easy to come by so um, hopefully there's still some good sized fish in here and I'll do my best to catch one. Yep. My head GoPro just went flat, but I've hooked on. Feels like a silver. Didn't really do a lot to start with, but now it's pulling quite hard. Really happy with this one. It's nice and healthy. But yeah, this one's really healthy. It's really nice. Got big tails on them for the size. And um, yeah, super happy with that, you know. Now I can say that they are still in here. Nice, chunky fish, beautiful. Should just go straight away. Yep, how good's that? So I've seen a lot of rises, a lot of fish swimming around. You know, there's like a good rise over there just then. There's a lot of fish that are moving around over there. Right where I've cast, oh, 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 I was not ready for that at all. Are you kidding? Oh, and then it just shot off. There was another one there. Are you kidding? I was not ready for that one bit. As soon as I cast, it just smacked it. So I've got a little yabby there. I've got another one in the esky. I'm just going to put out some pellets and then put this one to sleep and feed it to some of the fish. It's good protein for them, so hopefully I can keep growing up. There's the next one. Another little yabby there. Same deal, I'm gonna put this one to sleep. Sun's just setting now, and then I'm gonna feed these fish up. I've got quite a few little tadpoles like this that I'm gonna just put in. These will be perfect, grow up to some more frogs. Little tadpoles. Got some more tadpoles in there, which I'm gonna put in. So that's me done for tonight. The drains have been flowing for a while now. It's the best year we've probably had for quite a few years. Um, yeah, we've had a heap of rain, which is really good, and the drains have flowed really well. So yeah, it absolutely poured down for a whole day, which when that all the whole water rose and we had the paddocks flooded. But um, yeah, we had those two dead fish from today. Looks like there's a lot of fish still alive in here, which is really good news. And um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be back out here before this video goes up. So if not, that's the end of this video. But um, yeah, let me know if you want any more content. I do want to try to put some more fish in here and as I said, keep growing them up. So yeah, I'm hoping I can get a few more yabbies over time and keep trying to feed them up in here. But um, yeah, we'll just keep on trying to feed these fish up and keep them growing. I really want to catch a trout sometime, which yeah, I don't know how big they are, but there's so much food in here for them. Um, I have had some good success on soft plastics and as this weather starts warming up then we'll get a lot more opportunity to try and catch some fish.